Oh, Nicki Minaj is globally the most streamed artist in spot on Spotify. Um, in globally, twenty and no new album. I don't know if she had a single earlier earlier in the yeah. year. I doubt it. But no album. My question to you: What does guys, that really mean? What? Okay, this is that what is I'm listening to on their site. On their what site, does she's it mean? the most listened to. Is it accurate? And do we care? Yes, because I've got the question that for some reason we don't seem to ask. Okay, we always worry about is somebody's run over. But is Nicki Minaj <laughs> the greatest female rapper of all times? Probably. Second wise, yeah. Probably, yeah. I, mean, I thought that was already established. Yeah. I don't, hear no, I don't hear nobody talking about that, though. I just hear, <laughs> oh, Cardi's here now. Well, no. I hear. She said it millions yeah. of times. She said it all the time. Yeah. Wait, wait, who, who said it? So she does. does. Nicki? So look, 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 look. Yeah. What about, she's the, what about? It, comes, it comes because, sorry to say this, possibly because they're women. So it's the women who who actually, you know, discuss or battle with this conversation, but it's never overall. It's always what's popping now. So yeah. Meg will always be in a conversation. Mm-hmm. Cardi will always be in a conversation because they're right. talking about now. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? They're popping now. Like, it's really people defending, you know, the little baby verse Meg shit. It's just like, yeah, you got a hot song, but where's this hot album? Nikki has wait, wait. hot. Who did what? So when you when, when you get what? to the feet when you get to the female debate, yeah, it's mostly that females that are debated with you know us that'll say, yeah, well, debate. I thought you said little baby. I thought you said no, no, no. You so the, oh. the, the, who's the debate? He's saying who's hotter, Meg? Who's, who's hotter, Meg? Right. So oh. it, yeah, it's not Nikki will never be put into discussion because Meg. What Meg? What this is like Meg's fourth. Uh, First, premiere album, debut yeah. album, man. Yeah, like for, that, her, yeah. for her fourth Project. debut album. You get what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah. like Nikki had her, Nikki had her run, and she is still popping. Like, I, if Nikki says she was dropping the album, it'll it'll go. You get what yeah, I'm saying? In go. my opinion, in it's my opinion, and, and she has competition because she still has Cardi, she has Doja Cat, she has she has all these um Cardi, Rhapsody, she has Meg, yeah, she, yeah, she got people, out and that's on the, that's on the mainstream side. But then you have Rhapsody, you have you have things of that nature. So. Um, yeah, I would say Nikki is the greatest. One of the great is the greatest female. I hear what you go down in history, though. Like I hear I what you say. Saying. She absolute the greatest. But, but we the, we our, our our argument is literally logic versus women's argument. Who are they emotionally tied to? You get what I'm saying? In my opinion, because it's always now. So the emotion is now stallions. So everybody is stallions, and they want the knees. When Nikki was out. They were barbs. I know, but that's but that's my issue with the women catalog. We only want to talk about the now. We never go, damn, Kim is the goat. Leave Kim alone. Like we never said that. We always talk about their era. So when I saw this, I'm I'm sitting back like, okay, when are we going to start having the conversation of this woman, this female is the goat. Leave her alone. We do that with Jay. We do that with like uh, whoever. I, like, you're well, the I know. Kid. I, I know that. Answer to that. Okay. We don't care. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, we can keep it all the way down to like this is a male dominated industry. Yeah, uh, as a whole, and that's what they fighting for right now. Too, yeah, they fighting to be respected as us. For. In the as pre- a whole, we don't care. Right. Like I care. I'm yeah. sure we care. Like we have a hip hop podcast. Obviously, we're going to talk about women on here. Well, first of all, women are hip hop, but like in general, the hashtag is popping. So, um, this is a dope spot for us, and I think we're going to a lot of views on YouTube when we put this up. So, let's continue. Okay. And I just hide in these streets. And I fuck yeah. with Meg's new album, to be honest. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we would, we care. We actually listen to hip hop. We talk about it. We make it a point to talk about it. This is our business to talk about it. The average listener, the dudes that, that we uh, chill with and stuff, don't care who the most right. uh, selling female rap artist is. Yeah, not, we're, not check, <laughs> we're not checking. We're not checking for it, really. Like, yeah, we don't. We don't, the, we don't, the, we don't care. I listen yeah. to it for shit I could play. You get what I'm saying? To be honest, yeah. I listen to it. So, to be honest, we don't even care about the most, uh, the male, the highest earning male. Oh yeah, we don't. We, we don't, don't really care. We give about a fuck about what's either. hot, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We don't care about that either. What's to be dope? Honest. We might care a little bit more because he's a dude or whatever. We could talk about like how how much um Eminem grossed or Jay or whatever. Crazy. But ultimately. We don't care about that shit. I don't care about sales at all. We don't talk about sales at all unless, you know, because it's, it's one. I mean, they do some. Content. We talk about yeah, sales and they do some other shit. Like they, yeah, it's they a reason for it. platinum yeah, in a yeah, week or some yeah, shit yeah, like that. Like we talk about what stuff is good. We don't care about what's selling. I don't know. I don't know what Benny sold. 
I never but even checked. Benefit might not like, even be platinum, but it's just but still wrong. It's, it's the media. Yeah. That's, that, it's the media that honestly that that dictates it, flaw. So I think that's what it. That's what it really is, because like I said earlier, the the, go, the going argument now, in the present moment, is uh, Meg versus Little Baby. It's another battle of the sexes. Shit, as that's the hottest, right, that's all the it is right man. now. A, who's the hottest? So yeah, like, who cares? The argument is what? Does Little right. Baby have a what? Yes, <laughs> he has an album. <laughs> like it's like it's. You get what I'm saying? Like, where's her album? Like, where's her platinum album? Yeah, she has a platinum single, but where's her platinum album? Well, I, like, I, well, she just dropped this one, and we don't, we can't tell what the nomination. She see, dropped we, it so yeah, late, she happened. couldn't get nominated for anything. But I'm just we'll saying, see like, like, next bro. year, what Rick Ross don't got a platinum album, bro. His album not platinum, and he he got dope bodies of work. You feel and me? That's so why, we can't and, just say and, platinum and that's albums talking, either, right? Well, and that's why I'm talking about the present because he's one of my favorite artists. The present argument because of the awards. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Okay. Because she okay. won the hottest rapper of the year award. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, for what? The YouTube shit or something? Or like, one of these shits, right? Yeah, one yeah, of these hip hop joints. But yeah, again, it's, Apple, it's a battle. Well, if, it's battle of the sexes. Making, we don't. I feel if, like if Apple is making Little Baby like the hottest or number one artist, like on their streaming service, it's kind of weird how Meg would be him in that. To be honest, now that I think about it, so I didn't else? know that. I didn't know that until if you, if you take that, a bullet and you make the stallion, shit might be different too. I mean, like, I'm just saying. Like, uh, you take a bullet that, and you make the stallion. That's, that's, that's a point. With, with everything that's going on with this that's empowerment, good point. things, you know, things. So, that's a good point. She went. She had. She had a very, very um, dramatic slash great year. Like she earned. I'm not saying that she don't deserve what she did. I don't think she probably would have should have beat him, but that's. Since she won, I don't, I'm not going to say that she don't deserve it, if that makes sense. And let's keep I feel like she does deserve, deserve it. Deserve it. it could have went yeah, either way saying. to me. That's what I'm I, like, it could go I don't feel way. no kind of way about it. Like, the buck, though. Sir, just, she's just not my pick. It could go either way, though. Bro, even if she didn't have got shot, bro, Savage still went. WAP still went. Regardless if yeah. she got shot or not, those songs were still it's just the, To Jay's like, point, it's just the album thing. Like, her yeah. album, the, the, the shit that she dropped, didn't do what little baby shit did, not even close. Man, like she the, dropped some the shit. The only artist for a while to go platinum in this year, like yeah, first man. and only for a while. Yep, like she she actually dropped something. I can see if she just dropped the singles, like Jay said, she actually dropped the project. And not saying that it wasn't good, it just didn't do what little baby did. Like it wasn't even close. So, like, like what? Who? So who's the hottest? Really? Like you gave it to her? Why? Yeah, but we we know that like musical what doesn't have to be music, but circumstances yeah. put you in mm-hmm. put you right. in a better situation. So you're right. The story behind you're right. Meg is powerful. You know what I'm saying? So I want yeah, right. I want to hear Meg on like a monster type track. Well, her and a bunch of guy rappers. Because in my opinion, Nikki had the best verse on her. Well, she it, it seemed like they set her up though. If you look, if you listen to the track, it was like she was featured. Her verse was longer than everybody's. But, but, but yeah, but it I'm was last. They did that I mean, they set her up. That's what I'm saying. They set her up. So that's like, what I want to see. I want to see Meg in that light with like a a little baby. The top of the like top the baby. Who's, she, the who's who right now. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I think it depends on at least with who Nikki was pushed by. She can get on that that track though. What Meg thing? can't get on that track right now. Right. You think Meg could get on a, a like a Jay Z and Kanye track right now? Nah. Like Nikki could. She, it was a reason she got on that track. Was it because of like the Young Money Wayne? Yeah, like it it was be, Nikki, I like, think it was that. But, Nikki but she wasn't rock as nation. hot as she was now. Then, you know what I'm saying? She was hot and she had a buzz and everything. I but respect. Like, I respect. Money. I respect what yeah. Meg is doing though. Like I, I, res- she, I respect. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that Meg can't get on the record now because she's already hot, hot? No, or because she doesn't have to. Well, I mean, Meg she's is not. She's not agent. desired. I don't Nikki, think Nikki was Nikki was put in a position where she was already on those type of tracks with like Wayne and Drake. Yeah, yeah she was pushed by So it was like, almost like all right, so we engine. can throw her on here. Whereas Meg has the mainstream image of being a sex rapper, like a sex symbol, like a or like the only way that I can see this flaw to your point before you talk, I don't want because I don't want to cut you off. The only way Meg could get on a Jay Z track is because of the Rock Nation angle. Yes, that's. I it. was going to say that. I was definitely going to say Nikki, that. Nikki, yeah. because of Young Money, could got on anything then. 
but we also heard on heard her on non sexual records. Records. Yeah, we did. To want to say like Drake first album that wasn't on. a sexual record. Her and Drake not, on that record. And yeah, and they're not saying Meg does not have it. And I'm not. I'm not saying that because she. Well, does. we haven't seen it. But we have. You talk about one that on, pop. Yeah, one that popped that made you go, oh shit, that like she, like she ain't talking about a non sexual and shit, like, that you know what I'm saying? Almost like almost like what Cardi did with her album. You get what I'm saying? Like it, it was it was enjoyable enough to not think that everything was a dance or everything well, it has substance. You get what I'm saying? Again, not saying that's what Meg has, but the main joints, like her joint, she's a she she does what she does because she's staying in her wheelhouse and I respect that. You get what I'm saying? If it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. You get what I'm saying? But it would be cool to hear a uh, Meg on some shit where she just go dummy. I hear what y'all are saying. Mm. Well, I, Lyrically. from what I remember hearing, the story just goes Kanye West just wanted Nicki Minaj. You know, it's not like she was desired. Like she probably would have never got on the song a whole, but it's just Kanye was in his creative bag. Today, you really don't have that person. So it was random, you say? Like it had nothing random. to do with her. No, nah, it wasn't was random. No, 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 her. I'm not, I'm not no saying way. it was random, but if you guys, like, they, they just celebrated Dark Twisted Fantasies 10 years of celebration, and one of the things that um, was added late was the Rick Ross feature, was the Nicki Minaj, like, it's It was hot at the time, though, bro. It was hot. I'm not saying none of that. I'm saying Kanye West sat down and picked out people he wanted specifically that were who, hot at the no, time. It's just random that they were hot. No, it, fam. I'm saying who is sitting down today in their creative space saying, "I want, I want this person and I want that person." Right now, okay, I get what you're saying. Everybody's out saying. for themselves right now. I, I, I hear Nobody. Yeah, I, I, I get that. I nope. get that. Right. The only person doing that is Khaled. Now you, we might get. We're going to get that. I guarantee That's the only you person we're getting that from is Khaled. I guarantee now, we you haven't Meg is going to be Khaled. on this new album. We haven't had a Khaled album since Meg Pop. Now, we might get that now. We might I get mean, a Meg. Well, and, a, and it would but, be dope well, if it's Meg, Cardi, and Nicki. I mean, could you say that because... I mean, maybe Kim. Let me think. That's what Kyle Fletcher's yeah, point yeah. before I get... That's what Kyle Fletcher's point. What, could you say Khaled that because it it's not that many producers out there? I mean, I don't... That have that power? Right. I don't want to count Cal as producer because I know he produces and everything, but no producer out there right now, other than maybe Hit Boy, has that power to do that. Mm-hmm. And he got to hear. There's no Con- there are no Kanye West. And I think Hit Boy because he's now. not even and he's not even as powerful. Because if you look West at what music time. is right now, it's just like a bunch saying. of beat makers to me. If it like all these dudes is hot and they producers, but to me, it's like they're a bunch of beat makers to me because they're not Ain't putting no those Kanye's projects right together now. like that. It's like they putting songs together, but it's not like. A body I can almost guarantee you that shit is about to happen. Watch. You think what? Oh, the, the Khaled joint because yeah. of Khaled. But if it's not Khaled, it won't happen. Because I know Flex got point, one dropping. Like, uh, some um, eight away. Somebody from eight away mafia just did one, but it was with one single artist. Because that's not the thing now. Like, you know, I think I, and I also think it comes down like to. That, the, I also think it comes no down more. to somebody not wanting to Definitely be labeled don't. as you not come for Khaled's crown or. You trying to? No, I don't think that, man. If you're a creator, if you can, at the end of the day, just like what Jarrell and said, we don't have a Kanye West today. But that was my point. Mm-hmm. Nikki came in at the right time where the ear heard her, and he said, "I don't care what label she on. I want her. She the future." Some people got that, like, like so. Nobody's here right now saying, "Yo, Meg, the future. I want Meg." But but Meg does have records with the baby. Meg does have records with other artists. She doesn't have posse cuts. And right. I don't hear. I don't. One of the last posse cuts you heard, though, bro. That's we ain't heard a posse so cut. We're asking Meg to do something that's not really happening today. 